Educators say having a student injured is a worry that they think about every day. With kids coming back to class now, Overland Park police plan to focus their attention on schools. Fox 4 Sean McDowell is working for you live tonight outside Shawnee Mission North High School, where students came back to campus on Tuesday. Sean. And Kevin, concerns here are already high. Overland Park police officers told me today that they've already received complaints about drivers who are driving too fast in school zones. In fact, there was police say there was one driver who failed to stop for a school bus when it was stopped letting students get on and off and it had its sign out. That's dangerous and illegal. That's why Overland Park police say they're going to spend some time concentrating on schools to make sure things are safe. As students return to schools, so does traffic, some of which is dangerous, according to police. I think it's probably younger people, guys, but I mean, they will, they can see that there's no cars coming, so they don't stop. Doris Riley's longtime Overland Park home sits near Brookridge Elementary School. She's getting tired of seeing cars blow past the stop sign posted at this intersection, which often sees students coming and going. Riley says drivers often drive too fast here. Now they're in a hurry and they don't want to stop. They're important. What would you tell those drivers who are driving recklessly? Uh, that they better slow down or they're going to end up dead. <laughs> or somebody. Yeah. Overland Park police officers hope to prevent problems before they arise. For the next two weeks, patrol officers will focus on schools, especially at high traffic times. On Wednesday, the OP Police Facebook page carried this reminder not to drive around stop school buses as students get on or off. The police department has already received one report of that danger taking place. There's no compromise on something like that. We're going to issue the citation. Overland Park Police spokesperson John Lacey also wants to remind parents to talk with children about crosswalks. He says crossing in the middle of the street prevents too much risk. I understand the school just started up again and what we want the motorists to understand that slow down the school zones and at the same time the kids need to be aware of this crosswalk. Kind of a universal rule incidentally that fines are always going to be higher around school zones. Officer Lacey says that will be the case in Overland Park as far as violators around schools. And Kevin, he told me that he understands uh, it's not uncommon to see speeders, depending on how fast they go, of course. But if they're driving too fast around a school zone, their ticket could be in excess of $200. That's pricey to be so careless. Yeah, important thing to keep in mind. Thank you, Sean. Sean McDowell live in Overland Park.